in the quiet town of Bowman, South Carolina. Next to the Bowman Country Store, across from the Freemason Lodge, and right off the I-95 sits a little space oddity, the UFO Welcome Center. A spot not to welcome human visitors to Bowman, but to welcome alien visitors. To someone not from around here, it looks like the aliens built their ship on a tight budget and had some trouble making it to Earth. They're not too good at landing. But the locals know that the flying saucer started being built just under 25 years ago in the front yard of Jody Pendarvis, the brain behind the UFO Welcome Center and a man the locals have a hard time describing. Jody Pendarvis, uh, he just... He's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, he, he's up. I would mostly describe him as reclusive. I tried to reach out to Jody, but was unable to find him. Contacting him at all proved to be difficult, given that he apparently has no phone and no set hours for being at the Welcome Center. But even when he's not around, visitors can make their way into the homemade UFO. But it might not be how they imagined. The sign at the front of the spaceship says space people only, and they definitely warn you about the risk. But we're going to take a look inside anyway. This place is free to enter, but he does accept tips. Now to us earthlings, this place may seem like a junkyard with old TVs, scrap metal, Christmas lights, nails sticking out of the pieces of wood. Uh, but this is the actual spaceship itself. Up ahead is our book where you can register your name, city, and your planet. Despite the rundown look and obvious safety hazards, Many of the locals actually don't seem to mind the UFO Welcome Center being here. It's not an eyesore or anything. It's really become a, quite of a conversational piece. I work here in the town, so a lot of people stop and ask, you know, where's that UFO thing at? So it's pretty cool. They be all about all Florida, Georgia. And when it comes through here, they'll stop, take pictures. If 26 backed up, they'll come through here and they'll stop. Even without meeting Jody Pendarvis, just speaking with some of the people of Bowman was enough to figure out the impression he gives to the folks that have encounters with him. I said, I knew him there all my life. He's a pretty good fella. He work hard, and he, he had respect for everybody. And, you know, he's a good old boy. That's a smart man when he was in school now. So, uh, I mean, he's smart, but he just... He's strange. He has a strange... He, how would you yeah. put it? He has a... I don't know the word, but... Yeah, he just, you know... You, he has a unique way of doing things. Yeah. Unique. Definitely the word to describe Jody's spaceship in Bowman, South Carolina. A piece of graffiti I saw inside the ship seems to sum up the type of person that would build a spaceship in their own backyard. One who wants to live a great story. For Carolina News, I'm Kyle O'Connor.